Um, is it, um... What's up, Fifi? Is it okay if I set up my tent outside? We all kicked out yeah, of our take house. Take a seat, take a seat. Come on, take a seat, everybody. Uh, I put my tent, I put my tent outside. Where's Denzel? Call. Where's Lando? Where's Stag? Lando's on his way. I don't know if Stag's away. I haven't seen call. Stag today. Where's Alex? Alex hasn't been around the whole weekend. Oh, shit, okay. Mine's from Stagger. Take a seat, Denzel. Sitting up. I'm sitting here. Jesus Christ. Just take a seat, Denzel. How far are you, Lando? You want me to sit next to Bjorn here? Uh, yeah, I mean, sure. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, so, uh, you, I'm assuming, Harry, you got invited the fucking Vegas carpet. <laughs> me? Ray, he was with me. Take a seat, Raymond. I'll get changed for you. Thank you. Wait, are you serious? Wait, where's Tony? I don't. I, Tony a, wasn't with me. Line. Wait, say he's that again. Doing a red line thing, like a red line relay race. We saw him at the airport briefly. Fuck, Fuck. It's fucking Lando's being drone striked right now. Can he, what? Probably it sounds yeah, like he's lying. Hey, listen. Now. It's it's probably serious. What's going on? Uh, what the, yeah. Uh, what their house. I have the entire gill at the manor right now. I'm trying to find a place to live. You gotta come help me out with this shit. Tons of family Stop drama. Stop freaking around and tell us if that if something actually happened. Yeah. Oh, so you actually just got missiled? They got kicked out of their house. They got kicked everybody out. Yeah, yeah, you keep. If he got missiled, he wouldn't be on the goddamn radio. Yeah, big drama. His name's not Jaeger, his name is Kane. Don't call him that. We are calling him that, Bjorn. Do Kane not no call him. Son. I'm not going to sit here and listen to this meeting if you're going to call him that. I got to go. Bjorn's call like, him what, Kane go. Simone? Come on, man. Yeah, do not that's call what him is. that. Stop calling him that. Oh, yeah, because he threatened Layla, Lando, and Alex over uh, text to me. I mean, so hold, I'm the hold the phone. Hold the fucking phone. Hold the fucking phone. Hold the fucking phone. What do you mean not call him Kane, Bjorn? Why are you calling him that? Because Jaeger is dead. That is not true. That is it, true, it is. Bjorn. Accept the truth. Grasp reality. No, and I will not sit here and listen to you call him that. What, what's what do you mean message? you will not sit here and listen to me call him that? My son is dead. If you call him Kane, I'm not going to sit here and listen to it. I will not call him Kane in front of you, but then he will have no name, Bjorn. Hey, we'll call him fucking Voldemort. What was his text message? I don't know. He, he threatened. Uh, he, well, he threat. He told me. Uh... <sighs> Let's see if I can pull this shit up. I uh, basically said that uh, I'm a weak old man, just fine. He's baiting me into shooting him. I uh, wishes he never looked up to any of us, as far as me, Lang, and Harry. Spouting family shit. And that uh, maybe that I should remember where I came from before Layla, Alex, or Orlando get killed. What the fuck? And that I'm a huh? too much of a battered dog to tell Lang he's wrong. When I don't think he's wrong. Yeah, he sent me a text too, guys. He said, uh, he said, uh, he Wait, said, Wait, but it speak up? True. Yeah, he sent me a text as well. He said, uh, he said, you won. I hope you can start giving a fuck about the rest of them now that I'm gone. You're a useless piece of shit who can't even use one dumb fuck relationship to save a group of people who would die for you. You're the worst family I could have ever asked for, and I hope after Nick is dead, I can take something from you that might make you give a fuck. And I responded, 
You already took him from me. His name was Jaeger. Yeah, so like he texted me that and then uh <sighs> I I responded with TLDR. And then I said, you're a pathetic child that's been handed everything in your life. You can't even stand up for your quote-unquote family. You can't take anything anyone says and move forward. Have fun being alone, you dumb fuck. To Jesus. which, Jesus to which Lang said, to which he said, Lang didn't give me anything other than a minimum wage job. You are all weak old men who, are, who stick to the old stories because you can't move forward. And I said, the funniest thing, Kane, you turned on me as soon as I didn't have your side and your back. You are truly a lost cause. Jesus. So what the fuck happened with you guys? Why did he kick you guys out? I, I take partial responsibility. We're basically having a conversation about everything going on at the moment. Um... I am not even going to say that I was disagreeing with him. I was agreeing with him to the extent that I could. Um, but he got to the point where he started just berating me, calling me stupid and saying that I don't think about things. Even though I was trying my best in that conversation to be level-headed, to try and find middle grounds and to agree with the things that I would agree with, right? And then, like I said, it just got to the point where I got berated. So then I told him just... So I told him straight, like, I don't want to be talked to like that anymore. And yelled at him, and he gave us his katana, kicked us out of the house, and yeah. It, I mean, there, there's more to it as far as how the conversations were going. He believes... He just... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if someone else wants to explain, because like... He I, could say it, Fifi, it's fine. I mean, I basically said the same shit Denzel said to him. I said that he is going to be all alone with no family while this entire fucking world crumbles around him. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm done with him right now, and I don't want to emotionally fuel and stir things with you guys at the moment and say things that I shouldn't say. You know? I just... Like, right now, I'm just... Not. Like, <laughs> right now, I'm not a... I'm, I'm fucking pissed off right now. No, don't. Hello? He said to me, you're not even worth oh. shit talking. You're just a fucking loser piece of shit burn. Okay. Jesus. Bjorn? I mean, he didn't text me. Him and I were just arguing earlier about some of the stuff that happened and I didn't agree with some of his the way he thought of it so he was just freaking out at me and then he kicked us all out Lando what's up how you feeling buddy I feel nothing you don't you don't feel anything about uh, your life being threatened to me I don't. I choose not to feel anything anymore. Okay. Guys, listen, listen. This is very hard. All right. I don't know what we can do to save uh, your friend. Bjorn? What do you mean? I mean, what do I mean? The guy wants nothing to do with us, Bjorn. By us, I mean me, Harry, Denzel, probably Raymond, Tony, so on and so forth. I mean, it don't even seem like he wants anything to do with some of you guys. I, mean, I don't know what to do. I... I'm just sad. Yeah, I think Hell? everyone is. Yeah, everything literally just happened. So I think, I think Jaeger doesn't. Little... I go. think Jaeger. Sorry. Go ahead, Lando. Oh, sorry. I think Jaeger doesn't understand uh, that more people can have uh, mm -hmm. equal, if not greater, relationships. Uh, with you than the guild because he doesn't think in his mind that 
anybody could have done anything on the same level as us. <clears throat> but I don't know if that's true because I've always just uh, lived my life of if the emperor trusts them, then I trust them at a pretty good level. He's not wrong though. I'd kill most people in my life for you guys. It's kind of awkward to stay here at this well, table, that's, but it's just that's why that's why he feels like that's not the case because he feels like uh, the fact that that just because that argument started that because you wouldn't put Nancy uh, bef to get to Bunny that uh, he feels like that's putting other people above us and our safety because we're getting drone striked every day. Yeah, I mean, listen, that logic makes sense, but you gotta understand, like, if it was if it was something you guys didn't sign up for, I would be more leaning towards that. But at the end of the day, everybody in this table signed up for this kind of life. Yeah, uh, especially Jaeger when he got in bed with the Simones. But that's what I'm saying. I th he doesn't understand that Nancy can be equal to us, if not more, based on whatever relationship you guys have. Because uh, I, I, I he views it he as. You can go, Bjorn. I, I don't think he realized the relationship with everyone in Cerberus to you, Emperor, and how close you are to some people in Cerberus. I tried <clears> to explain it to him, and after I was done explaining, he basically said, I respect your opinion, but... And he didn't, he basically didn't. That's his favorite. That, I, that yeah. is his favorite. I talked to him for 25 minutes last night and explained to him... If he doesn't understand the importance of some people in Cerberus to his father, then he doesn't know his father. Uh, yeah, yeah. Here's the thing. Hey, you want to? Uh, hey, it's I me. Get, I, at, it's ex father. Ex father. Harry. Uh, at, at its I'm bare a, core, I'm in a big I understand family the food. I got. Ah, oh, fuck. Right. Carmel, Carmel is watching my phone now. Be careful, you texting, right? Okay. Makes any we won't, we won't text just anymore. Okay. Out okay. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna. I try to scoop up some burner phones, right? So okay, I'm a good burner, father. Yeah, all right. yeah. Pigeon found out about us as well. Tell, tell he's pissed. Maybe we'll write Everything letters. He lashes out constantly. He's pissed. Pigeon's pissed. He's, he's trying to. He said, "I don't think he's, he might be trying to spam call you as well." Okay, he's coming. I gotta go. I gotta go. Go, go. I think you should. We should have all had. Hey, a yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not trying to get more people a shot in the head here. Let's be careful, Bjorn. It's a very sensitive information. What are we talking about? This or not? Oh, uh, well, I mean, we, we can dive into it, but said. then we gotta, we gotta, you know, clear the room here a little bit. Yeah, can I get a little bit more? Some things don't need to be said. Yeah, can I get a Jesus little bit more context? Right, because right now, what I'm hearing no, is, no, you can't. No, you. Oh, you, you think I can't? We can't we talk might about. Have to kill you. Okay. No, we're not talking. What about did you it. just say to me, Fifi? No, no, no. no. Joking, we joking. are respecting the wishes. We're not talking about okay, it. Okay, and Raymond, you only came here to tag along. You're not deserved any context from any of them, with all due respect. Then we shouldn't have this conversation if we can't actually get into it. All right. Nancy, Raymond, can you guys go in the game room? Oh, okay. Okay, let's go to the office. Danny Boost 2 with a brand new Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, my man. Thank you. Love the Prime subs, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up with those Primers. Whiskey Baba, thanks for the six months. Gather around the fucking table so you can whisper. Come on, get closer. I understood. Get... I was gonna bring it up without going into detail. I know, but it's just better not to bring it up in front of people in case it slips up. That's okay, uh, well, that's you know, my, that's why they don't want to bring was, Raymond here. I understand fine. why he did that, and I think it's because he doesn't understand the relationship with you, Emperor, and Cerberus. And I understand his reasoning for wanting to do it. While I don't agree with how it was handled, I understand where he was coming from, and I think it was just a big mistake on his part. 
Sure, that's and, and fair I enough. think if he understood the relationship you have with Cerberus and the people in it, it would have been viewed differently, and that's why we needed to have a sidebar so we could discuss yeah, but it. Li listen, guys, listen, 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 listen. Do you guys really fall for that? Come on, well, all of you guys know how my, most of my relationships in Cerberus, what that means to me. Yeah, Even some Jaeger of us knows. do, but not all of us. And Jaeger definitely knows. No, he was downplaying it completely to a point where he was like, I was trying to explain it to him, and he just dismissed me immediately, even thinking about that, how dare Nancy have a better relationship than him potentially. And it was never about that at all. That I agree what? it's unfair when he compares the relationships, but I, I still don't, especially with Lexi, I think he understands it with, Nancy and I agree that he's harping on the Nancy point out of pettiness, but I don't think he really knows that much about Lexi. And when he heard you, when that happened, he just, he lost it. He saw red and he made a mistake. Right. But, but he will make a mistake is fine. You can apologize for it and make it up, but he refuses to do that. And, and well, he did yeah. with Lexi though, but not with any of us. No, 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 no. No. He intended to shoot her and ocean dump her. Yes, An apology and might it. go a long way, but not right after he just tried to kill her and ocean dump her. That's not how that works, Bill. If I shot you right now, was started driving down Great Ocean and bring you to the fucking ocean, but I said, fuck it, I'll bring you to Grandpa's and I apologize. You're going to be cool with that? No, and I'm not saying anyone has to be cool with it, but I don't think... That I still think this is getting overblown and it is still just a mistake on his part. And that doesn't mean there shouldn't be consequences and he shouldn't apologize. But it, no, I, I don't agree. think listen, it needs to go this route. Listen, Jaeger doesn't necessarily need consequence from any of us or for me for that matter. At the end of the day, it's his decision. Uh, that's not the problem. The problem is Jaeger. Uh, it's not necessarily that he shot Lexi. It's that he's willing to do that to prove a useless point. And that makes me think, who else is he willing, is he willing to shoot? Denzel? Harry, he'll shoot Harry in the blink of an eye. You all know maybe, it here in this fucking rare room. I, I, he expected me to take his side last night, and I didn't. And I told him, even at its core, while I might understand the basics of, hey, this secret, somebody just heard that I don't want to hear. Okay, let me shoot them. But I explained to him that it's not that basic, and there is way more layers to it in the sense of, for example, the enemy literally knows about his bench. The literal fucking enemy. Okay, why the fuck are you going to care that much about it at that point? Then secondly, there's another part of it where let's say I leaked a secret in front of a member of Rust. I'm not just going to shoot that member of Rust in the head and throw them in the ocean. I'm going to talk to Ray first. It's common yeah, sense. There, there is. It's the same, same shit with G-Baby, guys. When he fucking exposed my entire operation, or we uh, thought he did. We didn't go after him. We had a fucking an hour meeting with Raymond first before he made a single decision. Yeah, I agree with that. That's I've literally been yelling at him that we yeah, should have in that everyone in that room. Yeah. We should have stepped we aside him. and have a conversation about that before anything happened, because it wasn't on him to take it in his own hands and make action. But I don't think he did it to prove a point. I think he saw red freaked out and acted on emotion and made a very big mistake. Mm -hmm. uh, those are all true, but he was also trying to prove a point at the same time. And, and, and all of this is coming from the fact that he's making emotional decisions to get at his father. So I don't, uh, yeah. th I don't, you guys, there is no okay, judgment listen, to what he's doing. You guys got to understand everything Jaeger is doing is to spite me. He even admitted to me on the phone that that entire Nancy plan was to get under my skin. He admitted that to me on the phone at the courthouse earlier today. Uh, okay. Right. He is doing everything he can to spite me. And the and more that it doesn't that work, because he that, wants that, you to think that, so he, you know, because he's mad. I mean, he, he can be doing that too. Listen, I am done with him personally. Me too. Um, I'm I willing can't. to help the guild repair this relationship somehow because you guys all mean a lot to each other, but I'm fine not being in his life anymore. Um, me too. Ray he's... is losing his mind. Hey, the other I don't give a, a fuck. Who gives a Ray fuck? Is Who gives a mind? fuck? He's not the center of attention right now. There's way more important things. Can I mean, I... I appreciate letting us know, but just <laughs> let him lose his mind. Can I? Can I say one okay. thing? Go ahead, Harry. I will always uh, be here for you guys. 
even though I'm done with Jaeger. And the reason I'm done with him is because he talk, he treats me like complete dog shit. And I just want to say one thing to you guys, you know, take it as you will. You guys are supposed to be like, there's supposed to be no leader of the guild, but I personally think that's complete horseshit. And I think whenever, you know, Jaeger doesn't get his own way, he will constantly call you a fucking idiot and, uh, and belittle you. And uh, mm-hmm. it's happened to Fifi plenty of times. And I, you know, I, I'm sorry to say, guys, but I don't think you guys have, like, an equal leadership in the guild. Uh, no, you're just tools, too. No, I already said this. No, no, no. I, I want to say you guys are tools, too. Listen, the guild, you guys, I they would. have a very real relationship towards each other and towards Yanko. I, I wouldn't say that. Listen, okay, but I'm not he here... threatened three of them over a fucking text to me. I threaten Harry and I threaten you all the time, Denzel. How many times have I threatened to kill your ass? Sure. hundred. You're, you're, well... But I mean, let let the guild make their own decision on that. We're not here to influence yeah. or per, or or, pers- or persuade them in any direction. Yeah, I'm just. This is all on you guys to to come to the decision on that. I'm, with I'm willing. I'm willing to do what it takes to help you guys repair this bridge because it lose, you guys losing Jaeger is like me losing Harry or Tony or Rare than Zell. I, it's it's a big deal. Even though he will be out of my life, presumably forever. Because my son is dead. I, I don't want anything to do right with him either. Is, the issue right now is his grievances are just with you, Emperor, and he's losing his mind over it. But we're not playing this game anymore, Eve. This, this is, this, this is the whole thing that's been going on. Is Jaeger tries to blame Lang for everything, and I'm fucking sick of it. Like Jaeger also, I think, thinks in like very black and white, like. It's everything or nothing. It's 100% or nothing. Like, with the whole Nancy situation, his outlook on that, Lang, is that you just actively want to kill us. And he thinks that I am stupid and don't think because I disagree with him that you actively want to kill us. Because you don't want to kill us. Uh, the, th- the thing you is, Jaeger, it's Jaeger's, point on, Jaeger's point is actually not completely incorrect. Uh, no, in I understand terms of- that. Uh, using Nancy to make it sure you guys are safe, but but the fact of the matter is, uh, it's the same thing I told. I think I told Jaeger, or who, I mean, I told you guys just now that who, if this was something you guys got dragged into, fine. Uh, everybody in this room signed up for this shit. Everybody, and uh, we all. You always have to have the realistic. You have to assess all the risks of everything you do. And, uh, you know, getting into bed with terrorists, you have to assess that. I think Jaeger can't uh, get over the fact that it started over you uh, twatting at Nick, and then it escalated from there. And I don't think... uh, I think he thinks we're all casualties of it, and maybe he doesn't understand that we're here to help, you know, and we're putting ourselves up for it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, listen... I think, I mean, can you guys save this relationship with uh, with uh, with him? I don't. I think know. it's I personal. Like for know. me, I uh, right now as I stand, I don't want to. But I kind of the way I think about it is, it's not up to me. That's my own personal thing. I don't feel like I'm gonna feel that close connection with Jaeger anymore, it, just because of the way he berates me and the way he talks to me, and I am tired of dealing with people like that. I don't want to deal with it anymore. I don't want to feel useless. I don't want to feel fucking stupid. And like my thoughts are nothing to him. And I don't think that my feelings on that are going to change no matter how much we work on it because he would need to change himself as a person and prove to me that he actually believes that my thoughts are even slightly valid at all. Like I feel like I'm a dumb cunt to Jaeger. I feel like everything I say is fucking wrong. Yes, I have, yes, unfortunately. Has. Yeah. I have told him this multiple times because this is a conversation that's come up multiple times. He always goes down to berating me and saying I'm fucking stupid. And I don't think there's any fixing that at this point. Because I don't personally, in my heart, believe that he doesn't feel that way anymore because it always comes down to that. I don't want to keep giving excuses of, oh, Jaeger's just emotional. You know, he's just angry. He's just talking to me like this because he's angry. Like, no, you don't talk to family like that. You can fuck around with people for sure and call people stupid when you're mad. But he does it every time. He will stick by it. He will tell me that I I just don't think I have no brain, that I'm brain dead, that I'm stupid. 
He t- and yeah, I don't he believe that he that. doesn't believe that anymore. You know what I mean? Like, I don't believe that he gives a shit about me anymore. That's so I don't want to go out there agree. and save that. I want to I wanna feel listened to and I want to feel like I have a say. And I can have an opinion. Even if that opinion is not fully aligned with his. Because at the end of the day, today showed me more of his true colors. Because I was trying very hard to actually make sure I was telling him I agree with you on these points. Like, I agree... You know, I'm, I was just trying to tell him we should find middle grounds because, you know, going in circles about this is pointless and that I was telling him that, you know, middle ground and that we shouldn't just go to 100% and, you know what I mean? Like, everything is just... I Yeah, I, yeah. So I... Whatever everyone else wants to do, they can do it. I just don't think I'm gonna... I, I don't think I'm gonna ever feel like he gives a fuck about me ever, no matter what he does at this point. You. Because I've said to Jaeger to his face that I would take a bullet for him. I would die for this motherfucker. He can't even listen to what I have to say without calling me stupid. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Because it's all Fiona, like Fiona. I mean, is there like Fiona. Lando? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. It's all like Fiona disagrees with things Jaeger says. There's a lot of things she agrees with, but then he hyper focuses on the things that she doesn't agree with, and he then goes on his tyrannical rage of like you know belittling her and it's it's ridiculous yeah i can't slightly disagree on something at all with him with everyone Bro, else, how you guys feel you know, it's just... i mean i have that same issue where the other night i was we were talking about something and i was on his side but i didn't agree with like a couple specific viewpoints so he would freak out on me and act like i'm against him and not on his side and it's hard to be able to talk to him about that because it feels like if you don't completely agree with everything he says, he freaks out on us. And then, like, I don't know what to do. What makes it hard is like today, for example, I just pointed out what he was doing to me as far as like belittling goes, and that's what made him leave, kick us out the house, and hand over his katana because I stood up for myself and said I didn't want to be talked to in a certain way. You know? So now I'm also feeling partially responsible for Jaeger leaving in the first place. And I don't want to put that on myself, but <laughs> in a way I did. Because I stood up for myself and I didn't want to be talked to in that way. Now he's fucking gone. Now he's by himself. Now he's probably going to get fucking hurt or do some dumb shit. And now I have to take that burden of responsibility on myself. Because okay, so I my gun, like, what happened? He left the city? Like, what the fuck are you doing? I don't know, but people are trying to fucking kill him and kill us. Or he's just going to do some dumb shit and act emotionally or irrationally because he's pissed off, you know? That's what he does. <laughs> so what do we do, guys? Like, what, what do you guys want to do? Uh, can I say something? Yeah. Hmm? Uh, very, for like 30 seconds, for 30 seconds, Fiona and Eve, could you leave the room? 30 seconds. Okay. It'll literally be 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, there was a part of the text I didn't want to bring up in front of everybody. Um, I think it could all... Uh, I, I, Harry's, I think, fine to hear this. Go on. The only thing that you gave him besides a minimum wage job is an invite to the most old and useless organization I've ever been a part of. And he sent that via text. Now, he didn't name anything specifically, but I just thought I should bring that up. Sheesh. Jesus Christ. He's such a fucking brat. He said that? Uh, yes, he said that over text. As well. Guys, I'm sorry. Be Orlando, I'm sorry. That's dumb to it say, but it didn't. Guys, Zager's dead. He's with the Storm Lord now. Come on. Like, this is not Jaeger, and you guys know this. Bjorn, I know you know this. No, Jaeger would be with the Storm Lord, but I think Jaeger's forgotten about the Storm Lord and all of it. I think I think he needs to fucking die. That's just my opinion. Disagree. Well, that's fine. So Bjorn, so what do we do then, Bjorn? Like, give me anything to go off of. Anything. Uh, I don't I don't know, Emperor. I don't know what to do. I don't want him to get hurt. I don't want all this to happen. Trust me, I don't either. Like, I, I, I don't have any joy in this. Yeah, I mean, look, you, do you think even for the slightest? I think hmm? what? And do you think even for the slightest, any of us want this to happen? 
Oh. You think I enjoy getting a text from somebody that I love that I look like look at like a, basically like a fucking kid to me, telling me that I'm a weak old man and threatening the the people that I care about in a text message. I'm not saying he's okay to do that by any means, but he's obviously very mad, backed in a corner, and lashing out, and I don't think he would actually ever hurt it. So what is the solution, then? we got to come up with a solution. I don't like know, I said, I'm willing to try to do something. Ray's redeemable, that's all I know. What'd you say, Lando? Sorry? I think if Ray's redeemable, then Jaeger's redeemable. I agree. Oh, I agree 100%. But... That's why I, I felt know. like the this, difference is I felt I like think... everything spiraled because it was just I don't know it seemed like just a mistake with the Lexi thing and I know it's bigger than that but yeah, this but is guys, 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 not guys. That. It's, it's not that it's he's he's quadrupling down he's yeah he's, he is he's not he's not showing well, remorse well, Ray called you up know, and said he was sorry he apologized off the bat he said I know what I did was wrong I'm gonna take my fucking consequences I fucked up okay but you're has Jaeger like done that. Do... Yes. He's no, trying to fucking he kill has people. Not. He's talking about shit on text he shouldn't be talking he, about. He, he literally, literally, he he has, in the span of 48 hours, let, let's go over everything here. In 48 hours alone, has threatened Nancy. Okay. He has shot Lexi. Is threatening Lando, Alex, and Layla in a text message we, to me? You guys don't is, get to use the verbal threats he uses when you guys threaten each other too. And Harry has verbally beyond, threatened the league. Beyond, beyond, beyond. No, no, listen to me. If you guys aren't going to take verbal threats that you guys use towards us seriously, then you can't use them against him. I agree with like 80% of that. But there's like a 20% where it's like, I know at it's some not point, black and white, but that at is some how I point feel you gotta. But, but but Bjorn, at some point you have to take the threat seriously. Uh, like uh, I yes. truly, I truly believe I, that Nancy's agree, life is I at risk. I agree right with now. that. I do not think he, Nancy's life is actually at risk. Actually, uh, after today, maybe I do think. Yeah, Before today, I wouldn't risk. have thought that, but I don't think he will end up doing anything. To the, the thing is, Bjorn, like I said, you're not wrong in a lot, and Lando's not wrong. It's the difference is though, is Raymond. Did everything he could. Like I'm telling you right now, if Raymond woke up the next day and quadrupled down, me and Harry would have iced his ass. Just so you guys know, he would have died the second day. If he was trying to come after, you know, if he was trying to come after uh, Tony or some crazy, like you know, some crazy shit. If he was quadrupling down, he would have died. But you know, like, I, I don't like to compare situations either because it's always just completely separate. But I do think he is redeemable to you guys, and I'm willing to help figure out how we get there. I just don't know how. I don't know either, Dad. That, that's the thing. I, I just don't know how. Like, I don't even know how what what he what issue he has with you guys. Like, I still don't understand it. I'm gonna be honest. He's just He's mad, mad that you that guys don't are... agree with him. Yes, that's that's what he that's his issue with me as well. He's mad that I didn't take his side. And that that's like the issue I've like, been having is that I have like... literally tried to like a lot of this stuff. I've been on his side more than anyone else but then we don't agree on like a specific one little thing and then it'll make him think that i'm not on his side and he'll get he'll freak out about it since i've already uh, had to hold this opinion you can go back in hey, you ray, this opinion. I you come back said, in. ray i said ray i my opinion about you to your face don't forget that no i do agree with that yeah i mean i I'll think right. the answer is very simple too i'm not in pseudoing violence here for me I i'm just gonna move on personally Done with it all, you know. Well, then maybe moving on is the only thing you can do. No, the, us moving on is probably the best thing for you guys because the whole issue start with the fact that you guys are in a group called the Guild, okay? But some of you guys are close with me, Denzel, the Emperor, and things. Instead of purely having Jaeger's back, you can see his faults, and it's it's not double dipping at all. It's not that, but it gets very complicated. And this is another example of things getting really complicated. Me and Denzel, uh, at the end of the day, our loyalty is with Lang. It makes things very easy. But when shit like this happens, it happens really because Jaeger wants you to have his back tenfold because he thinks you guys, you know, is the most important thing to you guys. The, it, it gets hard because, you know, you guys are close with other people. And he's almost like trying to make you choose. I mean, Harry just, he hit every single 
point, like a spot on. Like that, that's really the issue here is in Jaeger's mind, he it's you guys against every it's a very it's a mentality I used to have way back in the day and nearly destroyed everything for me. It was us against the world, fuck everybody else. But the reality is is the life just doesn't work like that. Because if it's you against the world, you're gonna end up alone. You, That's what's happening. You have to have so. friends and you have to take relationships into consideration. Uh, which brings up like the, the, the point with like Lexi getting shot. Is is the principle correct? Yes. The execution was horrible. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And That's I even explained point. that I literally explained that to him for twenty Harry can back me up. I literally explained that to him for twenty five fucking minutes, extremely slowly. So he could understand that while, yes, the very basics of how he handled it is correct, the context on top of all of that is what makes it wrong. I mean, Why we I all mostly agree agreed that. that, too. Mostly just we all felt that there should be a sidebar, so, some type of... That, and that's the other point I brought up to him. I was like, why make that decision without the guilt? Why the fuck would you ever do that? He, he was like, yeah, I mean, I fucked up there. I agree, I agree on that. And I'm like, what? okay, what about... <laughs> He laughed in my face when I said yeah, that. He didn't tell and that said, to us. And he was like, what did you expect? Us to just say, hey, Nancy, we're just going to have a sidebar real quick. Ha ha ha. Nothing to see here. Ha ha ha. So I'm glad he's I mean, willing he to say those things to constantly. you. And then to my face, he just fucking laughs. Yeah, I mean, the thing about the thing about Jaeger, guys, is he, he goes very back and forth. Like he he'll be very angry and then he'll regret all of it and try to be nice again. Uh, it's, it's, he can't contain his emotion. Jaeger is very emotional, okay? And mm -hmm. I'm starting to think that the only solution is here, uh, unfortunately, is uh, we cut all ties with you guys. And then you guys have to focus on repairing this relationship with Jaeger by any means. I, I really think it's the only way this gets resolved without you guys losing Jaeger. It's true, because... like You guys are fucking family. And at this point, I would rather lose Jaeger over you guys for me. So I, I don't want to fucking lose you guys for someone that doesn't give a shit about me. Like, what is there in that for me? I love yeah, the I guild, mean, yeah. and I'm dedicated to the guild, and I would die for the fucking guild. But I am not about choosing someone that doesn't give a shit about me over family that do. Because you've done a lot for me, Lang. Like, you really fucking have. And you may fucking stir, you may do some dumb shit. But I accept that, because I know who you are. But Jaeger, it just... <laughs> I'm done being fucking belittled. <laughs> I'm done having to fucking choose who my family is gonna be. My family are the people that look out for me and care about what I have to fucking say. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it, it's sad. Yeah, oh, I mean, it means a lot. I, listen, I get it too. Like, I, that, I guess, I guess to uh, take a step back then is, I guess the decision you have to make is... How do we resolve this? Is it possible to resolve this with everybody? And if not, who would we rather resolve this with? Think of the series of questions you guys might have to ask yourselves then. Because I just don't see a world where Jaeger wants to deal, uh, deal with me or Harry or Denzel in any capacity ever again. And as long as we're in the picture, we're always going to get blamed over this Simone shit. We're always going to be the root of the problem. When, like, unfortunately, a lot's happened. It's moved past that. You, you should take you need to take responsibility for your own actions and, and you know i think until we're out of the picture you're just gonna keep uh blaming lang he's not actually gonna you know fix his ways and sort his shit out yeah he doesn't look up to me anymore like he used to he used to take my advice and my word as uh, the holy grail uh now it means nothing to him i can't get to him anymore it's just a reality. He wants I mean, to figure out his own way. He also said he was going to go find a new family, so. When did he say that? <sighs> when he left the radio. Yeah, yeah when he The thing is, out. guys, like, listen, I can give you an example of what to yeah. compare this to, right? Like, I, you know, some of the shit I've done, and there's times I, you know, me and Lang are very close, but Lang also has Cerberus. Now, I'm not going to go into specifics here, but I started getting reckless with Cerberus, putting Lang in tough positions, but I backed the fuck off and stopped doing it. Now, it, like... Uh, I mean, it got to a point where I literally had to call Harry and tell him, listen, I'm going to cut you out of my life if you don't clean your shit up. 
Yeah. And I, I did. I was fully ready to cut Harry out of my life. So I'm, I'm trying to compare that in a way where, like, because you, know, you guys are the guild, right? But some of you are in, in Cerberus. Like, he 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 keeps making he keeps bluffing is what he's doing he did it to lang he said he's gonna kill nancy it's all a bluff he said like that he has left the guild he hasn't there's no way he's thrown the whole thing in but instead of just apologizing and admitting he was wrong he'll always bluff you so eventually you'll apologize I mean, he would rather he would rather watch the world crumble around him than admit that he was possibly wrong. Exactly. For one thing. He exactly. would literally w rather watch everybody hurt and everybody uh, and and the whole world around him crumble than admit that he just maybe fucked up. And and Guys, this listen, is the listen, thing. No, no, listen, 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 listen. This can't. I, I don't want to turn this into just a shitting on Jaeger party. Uh, even though I could shit on this guy for six months straight and still probably have a, a, an encyclopedia of things to shit on him for. Um, I I really just want the guild to to come to their own conclusion. Like I I don't I don't want to be a contingent in that. I'm just existing. Yeah, but you guys have to resolve this, right? Like you guys have to move past this. I'm moving past this. Like I, this is no longer a problem for me. I'm done with it. I've 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 made my decisions, and I'm going to live with what they are. The only reason I bring you know that up, Bjorn, I mean? is because you braised about, you know, Ray, and I think you can keep that situation, keep that situation in mind and how that was fixed and how we are where we are today. But just keep in mind that fucking Ray owned up to his mistakes. He owned them and he moved forward. And, and until Jaeger does that, you guys ain't going anywhere. But also, to throw on top of that, keep in mind that there's a lot of people in the family who will probably never like Ray 100% ever again. That is something that he has to live with for the rest of his life. Yeah, I don't like Ray. Exactly. Pro proven, right? Yeah. Like there, I mean, there it, is it, a lot of consequences from his actions still till this day. He still never talked to me about uh, anything that he talked to everybody in the guild, but then uh, he just uh, walked past me every single time. Never talked to me about anything, so fuck that guy. Yeah, listen, our family is a giant shit show, all right. Yeah. And uh, you know, the best I, the best advice I could give is, you know, I, we got a big ass family, and I pick a couple of people in that family who I'm just really close with, and the rest I just love to see happy. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's just too many people involved, and not everyone's gonna like each other, and it's just, it's just a mess. I just don't know what to do. Me and Stag talked about it, and we don't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do. I think, I think Stag will know what to do. Well, I think we all don't know what to do because we all don't want to make the, the hard decision, right? Well, me and him said... Had, Give me some uh, fucking food. I don't even... you got food, fat ass? I haven't got any food today. I'm real hungry. Oh, my God. I'm Your real hungry, call too. Out. Jesus I, Christ. I got dragged straight into this and kicked out of my home right when I woke up today. And then Sorry I had to move that. all my cars out of ICC. I haven't gotten any snacks today. <laughs> All right, listen. Let's go. Do, let's go get a snack. Let's go get some food. Uh, let me. I I gotta go talk to Ray, me, Harry, and Pride and Zell. You guys.